Okay guys, the time has finally come. I'm ordering my mini sewing machine. It's not mine yet, but I've been thinking about doing this for like over a month because I really wanna learn how to sew a quilt. So I wanted to do a voiceover for this video because I felt like it needed a little something more. I don't know if you've ever been working on like a little project and you're into it, you're into the idea, and then you see what you did and you're like, that wasn't what I envisioned. Whether or not you can relate to that, that's kind of how I felt. And that's just not me. So I'm here now. I just showered, that's why my hair is wet. So in case you were wondering if I just had incredibly greasy hair, no. <laughs> I just want to walk you through the story of this sewing machine. I looked up best sewing machines for beginner for best sewing machines for beginners and this one was on there because <laughs> it's hard to injure yourself using it. It's technically for kids, but I thought that could be good. <laughs> Um, I really want to learn how to sew a quilt. I feel like it could be my new hobby. We have this quilt hung up in our um, living room and it's been here for years. I've always been very inspired by it. I think that the elephant in the room is why the f did I order a mini sewing machine? I think I just need to clear that up really quickly. It's a strange thing to do. I mean, it's not let me explain. This mini sewing machine embodies a lot for me. <laughs> that sounds so dramatic, but like, I'm not kidding when I tell you I am bad at having hobbies. I hate putting that out there because I don't want to reaffirm that, but it's just been true in the past. When I tell you I am desperate for hobbies, I'm not kidding. So I thought, I love quilts. Quilts have been an obsession of mine. I will link my quilts Pinterest board down below because yes, yes, I have a quilts Pinterest board and it is fully dedicated to quilts. I think quilts are such an underrated form of art. I could really go on and on, but my obsession for quilts and the hours that I spend on Pinterest, I thought maybe could be translated into a hobby. That hobby being sewing with a sewing machine and like making a quilt. That's the background on why I wanted to get the mini sewing machine. That's the only information I went into it with. And um, I just want to learn how to make a quilt myself. I want to be able to make, I want to be able to make sewing a hobby. I also just want to note I have no sewing experience at all. So we're starting from scratch here. This is the sewing machine that I'm getting. If I had bought this a week ago, it literally would have been like $20 cheaper, which is kind of annoying right now, but I'm just gonna do it because I really want it. Package arrives. When the package arrived, I was really excited. Obviously, it's really fun to open a package when it comes to your house. I kind of squeal with joy. I'm pretty excited about this package. Come inside. And the reality starts to dawn upon me that I just bought a sewing machine and I have no idea how to use it. Okay, one other thing I need to mention is anything that you have to set up that requires setup instructions that have more than like three steps. I mean, I prefer zero steps, but if it has like three steps, I can usually handle it. More than three steps, sorry. I'm not good at reading directions. It's just, I've never been good at that. I open up the thing and there are, not only are there instructions, there's a list of troubleshooting things that you could do to try to figure out what's going on with your sewing machine if it's not working. That honestly kind of horrified me. I was scared at this point. It may seem simple, it may seem small, it may seem trivial to you, but when I started unboxing this thing, I was intimidated. And that says a lot because the thing is small. It's not a super intimidating object. It looks like a child's play toy, and I was heavily intimidated. I was. And so 
I'm unboxing this and I'm trying to have this like fun and super excited reaction for the video. It's so tiny. But in reality, a pit is starting to form at the bottom of my stomach because I'm like, what did I just do? What did I just do? At this point, I need to take a break. And so I took a little break. I come back. I had tried to garner up some courage of like, just put the damn thing together. How hard can it be? It was so much harder than I thought. I'm like trying to put it together. It's such a doozy at this point. Like it's hard to watch because it's like hard to put together. What can I say? It's hard to do. I'm just gonna like do myself a little service here. I'm gonna plug my talent a little bit here. <laughs> talent. I'm kind of handy. I'm not bad at like doing stuff around the house, but when it comes to putting a little machine together like this that requires like setup instructions, <sighs> that's kind of the saga of what happened when I did this unboxing. By the end, I was feeling still pretty intimidated by this new hobby I decided to adopt. Anyway, I'm just gonna give myself some time with this one. I'm gonna try to come back to it with some fresh eyes and maybe ask for help. You guys aren't gonna believe what happened next because I can't believe it happened. My sister helped me go through the... Sorry, I have the hiccups. My sister helped me go through the instructions and thread this goddamn thread so that this thing is set up. Okay, I'm not trying to do anything crazy right now. I just have these two little scrap pieces of fabric that I found like in my house. <laughs> They're not the cutest thing in the world, but I just want to try sewing my first stitches on the sewing machine. So let's give it a freaking whirl. Why don't we? Now I'm nervous. All I'm gonna try to do is just connect the pieces of fabric. Stitches will be stitched. That's all I want. Yeah, plugging it in might help. Crazy idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. It's not a freaking game. I did it. I did it. I said I was gonna do it and I did it. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm amazed, really. Oh yeah. That is called overcoming self-doubt? I don't know. I'm just pleased. <laughs> I'm pleased. Wow. I'm just gonna admire this for a while. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Seriously, watching the videos, commenting, liking, subscribing, any and all of it really makes me feel like we're starting to grow a community here on YouTube for garland collections and around, you know, flawed processes around home design and developing your personal style. And that really, that's my mission. That's what I'm going for here. And it's constantly evolving. And thank you so much for being here and along for the ride. Thank you for being here and along for the ride for this video. It definitely was one that was up and down. I felt some negative emotions throughout it. If you couldn't tell, I was definitely getting frustrated at certain points, but trying to make this video happen really actually motivated me through so that I could get something good and show you guys something positive from all of this. So thank you for that. And I really hope you enjoyed the video in whatever way you may have enjoyed it. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.